Today on The Joy of Editing, did you know that the Object Selection Tool has a hidden feature? Well, it does, and today I'm going to show that feature to you. Plus, I'm going to give you some tips on using the Object Selection Tool. So sit back, relax, grab a cup of coffee or beverage of choice, and stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Today I want to show you a hidden feature in the object selection tool that I bet you didn't know was there because I didn't. Tony Kuiper recently emailed me and he turned me on to this and I want to share it with all of my audience out there. I think you're going to like it. Plus I also have some tips for you when using the object selection tool and also using the object selection tool combined with just a regular selection in Photoshop. It'll be quite interesting, and I think it'll really help speed up your workflow. So let me show you. Now, there's many different reasons you may want to use an object selection tool, or any selection tool for that matter. But today, I really want to cover removing objects from images. And that's why I chose this image. This is just a stock image, but it's got a bunch of boats in it. But what if I wanted to get rid of some of the stuff in this image? And this is where the object selection tool will come in really handy. Here's some information from Adobe about the object selection tool and this new feature. We have a new feature that lets you quickly remove any object in your image with a dialogue free experience. We've repurposed the shift plus delete and the shift plus backspace keys when in the object selection tool to act as a content aware fill command. Additionally, we've added a built in pixel expansion so users can avoid halos without extra steps. That's a really cool feature and I'm going to show that to you right now. First off, let me grab my object selection tool. It looks like this right here in your tool well, wherever your tool well may be located. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Now I have the object selection tool. Now it has two modes here, a rectangle mode and here's a drop down and a lasso mode. And they both come in very handy. I'm going to start out with a rectangle mode. And that's probably all I'll really use. And I find it does a really good job. And to select an object, all you have to do is left click and drag. And it'll draw a rectangle and find the object with its artificial intelligence. Now remember, it's also actually expanding it just a little bit so we don't have any kind of weird artifacts. And it does a really good job. It's not 100% perfect all the time, but more often than not, it gets the job done. Now, all I have to do is use the shortcut shift delete or shift backspace, depending if you're on a Mac or a PC. So I'm going to hold down my shift and delete key. And just like that, the object is removed. The way Photoshop used to act, if you held down your shift and delete key, the fill dialog would come up and then you could use content aware fill. By the way, I can also select this boat here. And like I showed you in my last tutorial with just a regular lasso tool, you could right click and click on delete and fill selection that will work also. So bear that in mind. But what if I wanted to add a bunch of these boats all at once and just leave this one boat here, I'm going to hold my shift key down and that's the trick. Hold your shift key down and a little plus comes up on your object selection tool. So now we can lasso around this boat or I should say put a rectangle around it and as well as this one here. And now I have three selected. And so now I could either right click and delete and fill selection, or I could just do a shift delete. So that's basically, think about it as basically one click. I'm actually using two fingers though. So shift delete and voila, they are gone. So that's pretty cool. I went ahead and brought all my objects back because I want to show you a tip now when you're using the object selection tool combined with just say like a lasso tool because sometimes the object selection tool is not the right way to go. For instance, if I wanted to select this cloud up here, and if I put a rectangle around here, we'll see what kind of a job it does. See, it doesn't do a really good job there. So I'm going to type L to get my lasso tool. And now with a lasso tool, I'm just going to lasso around this cloud right here. And then I'll go back to the object selection tool. So click on the object selection tool, and I'll hold the shift key down to add to the selection. And we'll add in these boats. Okay, I'll grab this one, holding the shift key down, and grab this one as well. Now say I want to add this cloud too, but I don't want to use the object selection tool, so I'm going to type the L key, hold the shift key down, and add that to the selection. Now I want to show you a problem here. Right now, if I were to use that shortcut shift delete or shift backspace, watch what happens. 
When I do that, this field dialog comes up and I'd have to change my contents, click on the drop down to content aware and click OK. I'm going to click cancel because I'm going to show you what you can do. This is a workaround. All you have to do when you're combining object selection tool with any other selection tool is just go back to the object selection tool so you can use that shortcut. And now we can use shift, delete and get rid of everything all at one go just like that. So that's pretty cool and it's pretty fast. Now let me show you what else you can do. Let me step back a step. So let me go into my history and go back where I had everything selected. The other thing you can do is even if you're on the lasso tool, all you need to do is right click anywhere on the image and choose delete and fill selection. And it'll do it that way as well. So that's fast too. If you want to use shift delete, you'll have to go back to the object selection tool or just right click anywhere inside of the image and choose delete and fill selection. Now let me show you when this will not work. That is the shift and delete or the shift and backspace. So let me go ahead and go back to the object selection tool and let me just select these boats again. Hold my shift key down and drag around here. We'll get this one. And let's go ahead and get this one as well. Now you'll notice I have two adjustment layers here. I'm going to go back to the background layer. If I hold down the shift and delete, you'll notice I get a field dialog. So anytime you have adjustment layers here, this will not work. And this will not work if you stamp a layer either. So let me click cancel. So if I come here, and do a shift option command E to stamp the layer and try to delete this with the shift and delete shortcut, I'll still get the fill dialog up. So let me click cancel here. But the workaround is all you need to do is right click. Remember that now that we have this great delete and fill selection, all I have to do now is click on delete and fill selection and they're gone. So that is a little caveat. And that is the workaround using the delete and fill selection because there are times when we're going to have a bunch of layers and we stamp everything together and we want to get rid of some objects. So that delete and fill selection will come in handy. I'm going to go ahead and delete all these layers. I'm going to hold my shift key down and click on curves one and click this little trash can down here. Now they're all gone. So now I have my original image back. And so shift delete or shift backspace, that shortcut will only work if you have one pixel layer. If you have more than one layer, you're going to have to right click inside a selection and use delete and fill selection, which is not a problem. So if it's just one layer, shift delete or shift backspace will do the job. If you have more than one layer, all you need to do is right click on the image itself and choose delete and fill selection and you will be good to go. And also remember with the object selection tool, Adobe has fixed it where it will actually add to the uh, pixels, expand them a little bit to give you a better object removal. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. Every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time, but until then, happy editing!